Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nicholas Snow H, and I'm back with another Wagaki band reaction. Um, this is going to be Dopo. Not sure what live performance um, or like show it is. It says Premium Symphonic Night Volume 2. I don't know if that's the name of it or what, but um, yeah, there's been quite a few requests. Uh, a bunch of lists of, of songs that you guys have left me, so I always appreciate that. And yeah, if you haven't been here before, check out my playlist of Wagaki band. Um, they're just amazing. Anything I say here is not going to give it enough justice um so check out the videos if you haven't seen them you can hear my thoughts in real time uh, or just continue watching this one hey if you want to subscribe to my channel it really does help helps let me know what is wanted on here and i can try to get more of that for you guys if not i appreciate it nonetheless you already have um i think his name's Ma machia here don't know what else is gonna go on but yeah should be fun all right three two one doppel by wagaki band let's go <laughs> It's already slower with the acoustic. Um, at, is that Yuko on the piano? I didn't know how this one would start at all, so I'm, I'm happy this is a slower side, or what I'm assuming to be a slower side from them, because I've seen a lot of, um, I mean, there's a lot of balance in their songs. They, they like to go softer and slower at certain points, but just a straight up slower song, the whole thing, I haven't heard from them yet, so it's gonna be a nice change of pace uh, from, you know, the usual, but the usual is just so unique that it's always a great experience. So, uh, let's hear it. Love that tone change right there. That the notes, the acoustic guitar sitting right there, uh, and Machia looks like I'm, you know, intently paying attention, not really moving around. It's, I'm reading the lyrics because they always have really poignant lyrics and um, entwined within the the the, the story is entwined with the music. So just pairing the both of them is what uh, sets them apart, in my opinion, from a lot of bands. <laughs> Feels a bit soft jazzy that part. Wow. 
அதை பண்ணிட்டு I just wanted to ask, I don't think I've heard him sing often. Usually it's Yuko, um, I think another girl has, has sung as well, but I haven't heard his his voice as much. Correct me if I'm wrong, at least the, the ones that I remember, maybe like backing vocals or like smaller parts, but for as long as he sang there, like his voice is really nice. I'm, I'm, just, I'm loving these vibes to be honest. <laughs> That little harmony together. I look like the, this, the parts of the song kind of has that, that jazzy feel, like the scat kind of singing right here. Wow. The vocals are ramping up. That was so beautiful. Man, that crowd. Ugh, I love that whole arrangement. I love when bands are able to have, you know, softer, more tender moments uh, within their catalog and able to really simplify it. Because here you just have the piano and the acoustic uh, guitar, and then you have uh, Yuko and Mach Machia voices, and that's about it. I mean, you have the, the visual stuff, like the, the um, the soft colors on stage you have the the two lights really shining down on them um kind of amplifying them while everything else is kind of uh you know shrouded in that darkness and, and that there's a world like blue tint to the whole setting the song itself um with these lyrics that are very bittersweet touches your heart very uh simple in its message because it's uh expressing feelings that um you that everybody feels comparatively to to maybe some other songs where uh the lyrics you know are, are still expressed and uh, written in a way where you can understand it and, and just uh, vibe along with it and, and just feel exactly uh, what they're saying. You know, in, in my case, to it, being transported to um, just specific areas in my mind and, and places and, and things that I see through the lyrics that they write. But this one was more, I just, you know, you, you feel the, the words in your heart. The rest is kind of just being enraptured by their performance and the harmonies uh, with them. They're very delicate, you know, they, it wasn't until the end where the vocals started to ramp up a little bit uh, at the very end, actually. Yeah, they did, they did a hell of a job uh, in this one, and I loved it. I loved the, the small jazz notes um, that I felt throughout the song as well, especially with the acoustic uh, guitar part, and then some of the melodies and like the uh, like scat humming at the end. So just a great time once again with them. So uh, let me know what you guys thought of this, anything that I missed or anything I should also check out in the future. Uh, like I said, I still have a, a long list of things I have to check out from them. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.